Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do kind of an unboxing from um, Hey Little Magpie which is a crafting um, website that I have ordered a bunch of stuff from before. Usually it's planner related so um, I do use the the Happy Planner um, and I have bought planners from them before because they are a UK stockist so it's quite hard to get hold of Happy Planner stuff in the UK and then also like sticker books and things. Um, so. I've got a sticker book in here and some nice paper for my um, scrapbooking because I am putting together a baby book because I had a baby and so I wanted to use some nice paper and um, so I think I ordered some Christmassy paper I think because I've slightly forgotten what I ordered um, anyway so I shall open it up So Hey Little Magpie always comes in these kind of pizza box um, boxes uh, because just because the size of I guess what I keep ordering um, and they have really fast um, delivery so I do like using them. Ooh, Christmassy! Yes it's very Christmassy. There are some um, autumnal things in here as well so um, just to start off with I guess potentially the least interesting but this is a Mambi Happy Planner sticker book and it's the colourful boxes uh, one and they've there's a, done a whole bunch of different colourful boxes I think this might be the first one I'm not entirely sure uh, but it is just um, boxes to stick in your planner that you then write in um, and I'm running low I haven't bought this version of the book before um, and I wasn't totally attracted to it because of the kind of coloured in boxes I thought it would be hard to write on and I prefer the kind of ones with the white space um, in the middle but I just thought of something a bit different and also I liked that it had these kind of rose gold bronzy ones because I do have gold and silver in my other book but not anything like this um, and it has some yellow as well because the other book it just has slightly different colours. I mean the other book does have green and red and purple but it doesn't have like as many blues and it doesn't have as many um, of the yellows so I got myself this for my planner stickering um, and then this stuff is probably slightly cuter and more interesting so I have some ephemera which is die cut um, images and stuff and then some nice crafty paper um, and then I got this free pen because I spent too much money. It was actually only about £30 that you had to spend to get the pen um, and I think it's just a blue, oh it's black, uh, it's a black um, gel pen so it says good luck keep your faith on the side of it um, so that was a freebie so that's nice. Um, so Starting with the ephemera, so this is Echo Park is the brand and this is kind of the autumnal um, stuff that I got. So um, before baby was born I did a big order of like baby related papers and ephemera. Um, so I have I still got a few of those left over but I didn't want to just keep it, keep buying the same kind of baby themed ones for the rest of his life. Um, so I thought I'd go um, seasonal. So. Um, these are my autumnal ones. Be American, it has, well I guess they're American, yeah they must be American because it it's fall y'all. Um, so autumn leaves, pumpkins please, autumn memories, the cutest pumpkin in the patch, I like that. Autumn, fall, harvest, blessings, family. See that's one that I probably wouldn't use. Uh, fall beauty, fall is in the air with a raccoon on it. Fall greetings, there's a lot of fall references. There's a bike with a pumpkin, uh, I'm so grateful for you. Uh, which I guess is maybe more of a Thanksgiving thing. Fall is my favourite time of year, which is a lie. Um, I don't know if it's just a very American thing, but the idea that autumn is like a good season is lost on me completely. It's just rainy and grey and miserable and horrible. Um, welcome autumn, and then it's the tractor with pumpkins, so that's quite cute. And this kind of matches the nice autumnal papers that I had already bought. Um, but I didn't get any ephemera. I do like the word ephemera. Fall is in the air. Hello autumn. There's like a nice owl there. This says enjoy autumn and make memories. Uh, Orchard fresh apples premium. Uh, 
I may not use that one, but the middle bit actually pops out of these. Some of them are like sort of frames, so I can use the outside bit, which has like um, flowers and acorns as like a frame for an image. Every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. Yeah, that may not get used because that's a bit gross. Uh, miniature pumpkins. <laughs> and then some letters, which I assume spell I love fall. And there's a little fox and a leaf. Happy harvest. Pumpkin spice, everything nice. Organic pumpkin farm, pick your own. And autumn is my favourite colour. So I should be able to use quite a lot of these. Um, I like the difference in sizes, um, which I think is quite useful because obviously the big ones do take quite a lot of space. So you want just, if you have a full page of photographs, you may just want to use um, like one of the two of these little ones rather than having like a, a, a just massive ones to pick from. So um, they're quite cute. They are quite American though, which is kind of a shame just because the references to fall and also to pumpkins are not quite relevant to the UK. I mean, yes, we do have pumpkins, but it's not quite the same level of obsession as they are in the US, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. Um, just put this away. Mm. So then I've got some Christmassy ones and I'm more excited by these because I'm more excited about Christmas than I am about the uh, fall and autumn. So this is Simple Stories and I don't know, I assume these are also American but I don't think it'll matter as much. So there's a bear and a snowflake and it says joy, there's a Christmas wreath another snowflake, there's a, is that a poinsettia? Oh, I can't say that. Under the snowflake, a present, the Christmas tree, some skates, so there's a lot less text in these, um, a snow globe, another wreath, another flower, another present, some holly, oh there's some really small ones, uh, let it snow, a snow covered cottage, uh, most wonderful time of the year, that one says. Brr. And a little Christmas tree. Quite a few presents. I quite like that there's sort of repetition here because then you can use that as a motif as you go through the uh, scrapbook. Like I know what I'm talking about. That's a bow. A cup with a heart, another cup with a heart, another snow globe. Another little house. Uh, I think that's a ski. Some like wool for knitting. Another present. Some gloves. A squirrel. Ooh, some stockings. Oh, that's cute. Look, you've got like five different stockings. That's cute. I like those. Uh, a car with a tree on top, which is, I mean, it, does anyone buy a tree like this? Um, I don't know what these are. Are these also skis? Yeah, they, yeah, maybe they're the skis and that's the pole. I think. I might not use those ones because I'm a bit confused by them. <laughs> Present. Another little house. Another Christmas tree. There's a lot in this one. Maybe it's just because there's a lot of little ones. Um, some jumpers. Merry. Merry brr. Um, let it snow again. Up there. Next to my snowflakes. Uh, a branch. Another snowflake. Ooh, another tree. Another tree. A hat. Another cup. A ticket to ice skating, uh, a bird on a branch, some more holly, uh, I think that, I was going to think it's mistletoe, but mistletoe has white berries so that might just be uh, just a branch, um, a tree, 
another little branch and then some really small ones here so there's some hearts Actually, I can't pick up more hearts uh, and then I'm not sure what these are oh just little I guess they're like little snowflakes wow it seems like there's loads in this pack actually I really like those, I think they're really cute. I love the stockings, I love that there's five of them. I love that there's a few presents, a few trees. Um, so, and then I could do little houses. Oh, uh, yes, these are very cute. I like these, I approve of these. Okay, now I get to collect them all together again. Oh, and try not to squish everything. Failing miserably. also with these seasonal ones they'll be a little bit easier to work with than perhaps the baby ones were because the baby ones um I don't know they were just some of them were more relevant than others perhaps they're more similar to the autumnal ones um and that's some are just not necessarily relevant but like there was a lot of the baby ones which were about sleeping um so uh, it seemed like they were more appropriate to if I had a picture of him asleep and stuff but um, those weren't really the pictures that I was putting in at, them at that time and then there's quite a few about going on adventures and things and being like you know stay wild child and stuff but because of lockdown we've not really been going anywhere so they may not be weren't relevant anyway and these are my papers that I bought I'm pretty sure these are all Christmassy yeah there's only three um, so there's some flowers and then on the back it says brrrr uh, this says merry joy, merry joy, brrrr, merry joy uh, and then on the other side there's Christmas trees so I like the Christmas trees and then this one has holly and flowers on one side and then lots of small squares with various Christmassy images on and these are from the same collection as the Christmas ephemera so they should kind of uh, match so some of these images are repeated in the ephemera so that works see so, yeah, I know what I'm doing um yeah so that is uh it for what I got this time around from Hail Tom Magpie um so if you have uh, liked this video please leave me a like and a comment and if you would like to see more please subscribe